Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to implement our edit text and go button so that whenever you type any website over here and press the go button, the website loads dynamically. Right now, what we are doing is that we are storing a website in a URL and then we are loading the URL. So this is happened statically. We want the URL to be loaded dynamically so that whatever we type over here in the edit text can be opened in the web view. So let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is check whether we have given the IDs to edit text and button or not. And let's also check whether these four have been given an ID or not. All right, everything has been given an ID. So this looks good. Let's go and initialize all these button and edit text. So we we'll write edit text. URL edit you can name this anything if you remember and we'll press alt enter to import it and then we are going to initialize the buttons and let's import this also by pressing alt plus enter on it sorry it's button not buttons and we are going to press alt plus enter to import this too then we are going to write down the buttons so first the go button then the forward button the back button the clear button and the reload button now that we have initialized all of them let's just declare them over here so first we are going to go ahead with url edit equals to edit text find view by id r dot id dot edit text url then we are going to go ahead with the buttons button find you by id dot dot id dot button go then i'm just going to copy this and paste it four times okay now that we have been declared and initialized all of the buttons and the edit text let's just get into it so the first thing that we are going to do is take the data from the edit text and load it into this url file but we are going to do that whenever the go button is clicked so what we are trying to do is basically for example i type here over here www.facebook.com and then we press the go button on pressing the go button whatever the value is inside this go edit text we are going to take that and store it in our url over here and then we are going to load the url so the first thing that we need to do is have an on click listener that listens to the go button all the time and whenever it's clicked we are going to do something so let's make a on button click listener so what we are going to do is type go dot set on click listener new on click listener and whenever the go button is clicked this on click function will be called and whatever inside this on click function is that will happen the next thing we are going to do is take the data from the edit text for example on pressing the go button we want to take the data that was written here for example facebook.com and load it so what we are going to do is we are going to write something like string edit text value equals to then we'll write url edit because we have declared the edit text during url edit over here dot get text dot to string now this is how data is retrieved from an edit text first we get the text and then we convert the text to a string this is how the data is collected from the edit text now this could have been made simpler by the android developers but it wasn't so we'll just have to deal with it so now what we have the value of edit text value now what is an edit text value basically for example if you write facebook.com over here the edit text value will contain the value facebook.com now we have to load this value by we'll just copy it sorry we'll just copy it and paste it over here and let's remove this value from over here and make it like string url equals to edit text value and now the data 
is going to be dynamically loaded. I have started the Jenny motion so that we can test our application whether it's working or not. So what we'll do, we'll press on the play button and then we'll choose our Jenny motion device and click on OK. And it's going to run the application. Let's give it some time. As you can see, the application is running now. So we'll go to our Jenny motion. And here is our Jenny motion. So we'll wait for it to load a website but it's not going to load any website because we have removed the default load URL from over here. So what we are going to do, we are going to type in something like http colon backslash backslash www.google.com Always remember that we have to write http colon backslash backslash www. right now because the load URL function doesn't support it without the http and www. We are going to fix that in future. Actually, we are going to fix that in the next video. But right now, let's write the HTTP and www and press the go button. And then we are going to wait for it. And the website opens in another browser, which we don't want. We also have to fix this. So right now, we have to fix two things. First thing is that Whenever we type HTTP colon backslash backslash www, only then the website opens and even if the website is opening, it's opening in another browser which we don't want. We want it to open in our browser and not the default browser. First thing that we are going to do is actually we are also going to load default URL first because I want something opened like in the background for testing purposes. So I'm going to write something like HTTP backslash www.hackstories.com and then I'm going to press the play button again. We'll check our journey motion, apply changes, restarted activity. So as you can see, the Hackstories is loading. But whenever we try to open the website google.com and press the go button, it opens the website in another browser which we don't want. So we are going to fix that in the next video and I'll see you over there.